Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, a gentle God, the source of all consolation. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can offer others in their troubles a share in the comfort we have received from God. Loving God, you ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory. And as we follow Jesus on his way of the cross, may we enter more deeply into the mystery of his death and resurrection as it touches our own lives and the lives of our sisters and brothers. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Pilate said, What shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? The cloud replied, Let him be crucified. Pilate took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your concern. Yes, Lord, it is my concern. It is my concern that those with whom I live and work get fair play, even if that means standing against the crowd. When I have to make decisions which affects people's lives, help me to make them with understanding and care. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you then. Do with me what you will. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The cross was heavy, a beam of solid wood. The journey, a struggle through narrow and uneven streets with a hostile crowd looking on. Lord, we each have a cross to carry. When life is difficult, tedious, or painful, we sometimes complain and look for an easy way out. Give us strength each day to carry our cross. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, then do with me what you will. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was no wonder that he fell. Jesus had suffered so much already that he could not see properly to pick his way through the city streets. There are times, Lord, when we cannot hide our weakness or when we have to admit our feelings, not only to ourselves, but also to others. Give us some of your courage to accept the limitations of our lives. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now three years since he had left home. Mary had brought him into the world, and had cared for him as a child. Now she was with him again to give him some of her strength just by being there in his time of need. Lord, we too can help our families, our friends, those we love and those we do not even know very well. Just by being there, by being available, by keeping in touch, by turning up in time of trouble. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The fifth station, Jesus help, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon was a, was a native of Cyrene, a foreigner in Jerusalem, perhaps a pilgrim arriving for Passover. He found himself forced to help Jesus in carrying the cross. Lord, 
Simon met with you in a way he had never expected. At times we too can suddenly be faced with someone in need of our help. May we not turn away, but willingly offer whatever help we can give. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica was not like Simon. Nobody asked her to help. She pushed her way in through the crowd and wiped the blood from the face with a towel. Veronica saw your face, Lord, and your face left an impression. Your face is the face of suffering and need, the face of the aged, of the undernourished child, or the refugee. Your face today is around us, if only we look. I was sick and you visited me, naked and you clothed me. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In spite of the help, he fell again. He was being hurried by the soldiers. The road was uphill and his strength was failing with every step of the way. Lord, you are always ready to lift us when we fall. May your example teach us to be understanding towards others, to help rather than to judge, to support rather than to condemn. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The eighth station. The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. These women were moved to sympathy for Jesus. He acknowledged their tears, but he knew there was nothing they could do for him now. He asked them to look to themselves and to their children. You do not wish us, Lord, to go on weeping about what has happened in the past. We cannot change the past, but we can do a great deal about the future. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you and then do with me what you will. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This was the final fall. Jesus had reached the very limit of physical endurance, and yet his spirit was not broken. Lord, we know that you walk with us each day as we face the cares and challenges of life. Help us to keep going, and special in the, especially in times of weakness, and to trust in you in times of depression and despair. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now everything was taken from him, even his clothes. Although he was God, he emptied himself to become as we all are. And he was humbler yet, even to accepting death on the cross. Lord, we worry about our life and what we are to eat, about our body and how we are to clothe it, but life means more than food and the body more than its clothing. You humbled yourself to become like us. May we become more like you. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. 
Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Without beauty, without majesty, we saw him, a thing despised and rejected by men, a man to make people hide their faces. It was all very cruel and barbaric, Lord. Blinded by hatred, nobody stopped to think. It is sad that we still treat people in this way when we fail to see them in the image of God. Forgive us, Lord, for the violence in our lives and in our society. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you and then do with me what you will. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the sixth hour there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Saviour of the world, you died as you lived, with a heart close to God and open to everyone. You have shown us how to live a full life. You have given us a reason to live and a reason to die. Soften our hearts towards those who make us suffer. Save us from self-pity and despair. At the thought of dying, we place all our trust in you. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my own whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you and then do with me what you will. The 13th station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The crowd had left the hill. A few friends remained to mourn the dead and to keep vigil. They placed the body in the arms of his mother. Lord, your mother felt the sadness that we all feel when we lose, lose our loved ones in death. Help us to bear our bereavement with dignity, courage, and hope. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my own heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. The 14th station, the body of Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now evening. The long day of suffering was over. The disciples prepared the body for burial and led it to rest in a tomb. They closed up the tomb and went away. Lord, you alone give us rest after toil. You give us life after death. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there. Give eternal life, Lord, to our relatives and friends who have died. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my own heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may always love you, and then do with me what you will. On the third day you rose from the dead, you ascended into heaven, and sit at the right hand of God, continually interceding for us. You have gone before us, Lord, not to abandon us, but to be our hope. We are your pilgrim church on earth, on our way to our heavenly homeland. May we follow you in your steps. To the weary and the wounded, may we offer comfort and compassion. May we be a sign of hope in a troubled world. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat>
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Warm well, welcome to all of you today to the celebration of our Mass. Today, Tuesday of Holy Week, as we gather for the Mass today, uh, we gather with our prayer intentions. Uh, we remember uh, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Uh, there's a big raffle and with lots of goodies on offer in the sacristy after the Mass, if you'd like to come in for the raffle, or after the Mass, if you'd like to come in uh, to purchase a ticket for the raffle. Uh, the um, abundance of gifts there are thanks to all who supplied. As we gather for the Mass today, we gather with our various intentions on this Tuesday of Holy Week. We confess. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me, pay attention, remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb, he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant Israel in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain. I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honored in the eyes of the Lord. My God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring back Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Well, thanks be to God. And the response is, my lips will tell you of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me, and save me. Response. My lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. Response. My lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my, my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. Response. My lips will tell you of your help. My lips will tell you of your justice and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. Response. My lips will tell of your help. Just a gospel and acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hail to you, our King. Obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb was led to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Uh, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering what he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask what his he means. So leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one, replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this. Since Judas had charged the common fund, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you'll have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Now we offer our prayers. Mindful of what the incarnate Son of God did for the world and knowing he lives on to make intercession for us, let us now pray for his church and for all humankind. We pray for the members of Christ's body enduring affliction, interference, derision, or persecution, that they may find new strength in the Lord's passion and resurrection. Lord, hear us. We pray for the men and women who serve in projects of justice and peace and who work to instill new hope into other people's lives. Lord, hear us. We pray for all the sick and the housebound, for those who cannot come to the church, for the solemn liturgies, that they may be with us in spirit and obtain the blessings of this great week. Lord, hear us. We pray for the healing of our soul's infirmities and the ailments of mind and body. May we view them as part of our penitential pilgrimage, as sharing in the passion. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our dead, and particularly those who died in loneliness, agony, that they may enjoy forever the light of the living uh, through the merits of Christ's dying and rising. Lord, hear us. With the raffle on after the Mass, we remember the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, all those involved in the Society, and all those assisted by the Society. Lord, hear us. Lord, give ear to the petitions of a people consecrated to you in belief and worship, and lead us all into the joy of your kingdom. This our prayer through Christ our Lord. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. (laughs) 
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received our heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and all the saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. And now today we say Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration. That they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke of the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And as I proclaim the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Now Jesus taught it, called God our Father with confidence and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sin of all the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. the communion antiphon, when I am lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all to myself, says the Lord.
and I, for those who are not able to be with us this morning, be they sick or whatever the particular reason, the particular spiritual communion prayers say. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. prayer after Holy Communion. Father, in celebrating this Eucharist together, we have shared faith in the resurrection of Christ. We have pledged ourselves to live the commandment of love and sought pardon at the fountain of forgiveness. Sustain us, Lord, with the food of life as we go upon our way. May the bread of heaven be our strength. May the broken body of Christ bring us healing. May the spirit of the risen Christ renew our youthful generosity. May the sacred heart of Jesus give us compassion. May the crucified Christ of Calvary help us bear our daily burden. A blessing, Lord, on your people. A blessing on all at this Eucharist. A blessing on the neighbors and friends. A blessing on the enemy, Lord, as you bid us pray. A blessing on the sick and the fearful, the weary and the aging. A blessing from the heart of Christ on those who forgive. And life eternal to our dead and the dead of our community and of our nation, and all who have walked with you since time began. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's now pray. And nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament, that which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers in life eternal. This our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the raffle will take place in the sacristy after the Mass in Vincent de Paul. Many, many gifts. You're very, very welcome to come in. Uh, there'll be also confessions available after the Mass as well. And Anne is trying to tell me something. Oh, there's tea and coffee as well available. Now, if you're thirsty and you, there's like a wee cup of coffee, there's a cup of coffee in the sacristy as well. And if you want to buy a ticket, you can buy one still. Now, there's confessions after the Mass. Now, tomorrow, Wednesday, the Mass is in the evening time at 7 p.m. Uh, there's no morning Mass uh, on the Wednesday, so it's Wednesday evening. Uh, then Thursday at 7 o'clock for the uh, Holy Thursday evening Mass. Just to remind you, there's no Mass here on Holy Thursday morning. There's only one Mass, and that's in the Cathedral in Derry at 10 a.m. Our Mass here, Holy Thursday, 7 p.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love, to serve the Lord. Coffee time.